Hi, my name is Richard Evans and I'm with uh, Caliber Yacht Sales. And this, this is Grand Times. And Grand Times is a 2008 GB47EU. But you know what, 2008, you wouldn't believe it when you step aboard the boat. I'll show you why. Follow me. First of all, we have uh, a center transom door. The door is perfectly located so you get good flow through from your dinghy right into the cockpit right through the cockpit into the salon. But before we go in there, I want to point out this rigid hardtop. Rigid hardtop is really great for all kinds of weather, whether it's really sunny like a day like today or when it's raining. The cockpit opens up into a salon with a sliding glass door that integrates the outdoor living with the indoor living. It's a great design. You'll see what I mean when we go through. But before we do, I just want to talk a little bit about this cockpit. Look at this teak, for example. The teak looks new. It's in great condition. And the bright work, the same thing there. You know something? Grand Banks is the de facto standard for production boats that uh, are built in the trawler design. And why? It's because they've been doing it for a long time. They know how to do it. Did you know, for example, that they, they actually buy the raw logs age them according to their standards, mill the raw material right there at the factory, and then finish right there at the factory. Everything from the teak decks to the cap rail, even, even the steering wheel on the inside is made right at the factory. They want it to meet the standards that only Grand Banks can really produce. So while in the cockpit here, a nice feature is an outdoor entrance into the uh, engine space. If we just look below here, you don't have to pull up floorboards. You can simply access the, the, uh, the engine space here. And we can show you that a little bit more later. Fully insulated, look at this insulation. And you'll see once we start the boat, how quiet it really is. A big lazarette below here, huge. And propane storage over here out of the way. But when you come on board, you'll see that this is a massive cockpit. It's huge. You could put four to six chairs out here with a couple of small teak tables, and it's just ideal for entertaining. So let's go inside. Let me show you the salon. So here in the salon, you're going to see the same fit and finish that you saw out in the cockpit. It's beautiful this richness and fullness and the warmth of this space. It's, it's like none other. Let me show you this quality, for example. And yes, this, this table was built at the factory, as is all of their furniture. Look at the inlay, the finish, it's gorgeous. And speaking of the table, at the touch of a foot pedal and a couple of screws on the side, a dining room table that opens up like so becomes a cocktail table. Now, this boat is set up ideally for entertaining. As I mentioned earlier, it transitions beautifully into the cockpit. We have a L settee on this side and a large settee over here. Plenty of space to entertain up to six adults very comfortably. And yes, even though that this is a two-cabin boat, a very generous two-cabin boat, if you needed an extra single bed, there's plenty of space on this settee to achieve that. Now forward here, we have a galley up configuration. This is great. This allows whoever's working in the galley to be part of the group over here in the salon or even the people out in the cockpit. Galley up is a great configuration and really desired by a lot of boaters. We have all the amenities that you're looking for. You can see it's all solid surfaces. Uh, notice that the electric stove blends in perfectly with the granite countertop. The, it is a three burner stove and we do have a convection microwave oven just above it. Now, where would you store the plates? This is brilliant. Look at this, it's so clean and elegant. You want a plate? There they are. How slick, eh? and your cups and bowls. Hidden away so nicely. 
and blends in so well. All of this grain is all cut from the same piece of lumber. So there's, it looks continuous and the quality is just exceptional. And speaking of that, have a look at this fridge. This fridge and freezer is tucked away in here and you wouldn't even know that it's there. Look how wonderfully this grain matches the rest of the counter. And the same thing with the storage. Look at this. How cool is that? European styling, rather than having a lazy Susan, pulls your canned goods and whatnot right out from an inaccessible spot. I just love this. Down below here, more storage and, your, and trash control with a second bin for recycling. Now, the helm station. So the helm seat is very comfortable. It's a stid. Uh, there's, it's a very large single seat or small double. Now the controls are very easy to get to. Notice that you've got two large screen displays and you can configure those in any way that you want. Electronic controls, bow and stern thruster, trim tabs, not that you need it. This is really cool for docking is rudder angle indicator. Over here we have the autopilot and autopilot remote, genset, and above. Up above we have tri data currently set up for depth, wind machine perfect for docking, and of course VHF. One of the nice things that I like about this boat is that it has very easy access to your side deck just for ventilation or when you're docking the boat. So let's have a look down below. The accommodations are as beautiful there as they are up above here. On the starboard side we have a large cabin with a hang-up locker. Uh, it has two single bunks. One is larger than the other. The aft single bunk is six foot seven. The forward bunk is about six foot one. On the port side, we have a head, vacuum flush toilet. It has a granite surface on the counter. And what's really nice, of course, and to be expected on a boat of this caliber, if I can coin that phrase, is a separate shower. Forward, we have a massive V-berth master cabin. The master cabin is luxuriously finished with this excellent craftsmanship that we've been talking about all along. We've got an island queen berth, two large drawers under the berth. We've got a hang-up locker, double hang-up locker that's seat aligned on the port side. Also drawers and a bit of a dresser and tongue and groove finishing around the bed. Of course it has a master head, again beautifully finished, once again with a separate shower and a vacuum flush toilet. Notice these big beautiful port lights allowing tremendous amount of natural sunlight into the space. So one of our favorite places up here is up there on that upper deck. Just a massive, wonderful space. Come on up, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So up here on the upper helm, look at this. Look at this beautiful space. You'll probably notice the first thing here is this wonderful bimini that covers a lot, almost two thirds of the upper deck. You've got a radar arch that holds all of your antennae and your lights. Over here we have an LCT with a beautiful teak finish table and again manufactured at Grand Banks. And right across from that another settee. So you have a nice social circle here. Beautiful, beautiful layout. We've got uh, your upper kitchen with a wet bar, uh, storage below, 
and an ice maker, of course. Now your upper bridge has a lot of the features that your lower helm did. The, uh, you have your big screen with your Fruno Navnet, remoted to this location up here, but with a full set of controls. You do have your rudder angle indicator, VHF. You've got your tri-data, comnav, autopilot, with remote control. Got it all. Very, very comfortable space. Uh, and bow and stern thruster again, right here. I think what's really important is that these are stid seats, about the best you can buy for these kinds of vessels. Did you know that the Coast Guard uses stid seats? Because they spend so much time in them, they have to be ergonomically perfect. We have a guest seat here, pilot seat here, and a co-pilot seat here, with a wonderful view of your bow with great visibility. Notice how comfortable this space is, eh? Right here we've got a steel head davit system to raise your Nuverania to the upper deck and a Honda four-stroke. So there you go. This boat's got it all. Everything that you would want in a comfortable cruiser. Brand Banks quality, fit, finish, seaworthiness, and a real head turner. Give us a call. We'd be happy to show you through this and show you all the details that we didn't have time here today to show you. You'll be really glad you did. <laughs>